there, Alicia here. Before, during, after. So that was a fun little uh, progression. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I dyed my hair. Uh, I've been getting a little nudge from a friend of mine to go back to blonde because I dyed my hair brown for some really stupid, stupid reasons. And I kind of just up and decided, okay. Uh, very kind of randomly, if I do say so myself. So this is this is what's going on. I kind of have the ombre thing. Ombre? I think that's the technical term. Where it's like light up here and then dark here. It's a hair color in, in transition. So I can tell you that right now. Yay, back to... I think it's like a strawberry blonde. What? What is going on here? At any rate, I had the pleasure of randomly going to Mountasia out in Valencia. I'd heard about it, I kind of always wanted to go, but it's expensive, and I had some friends who were like, hey, we're going to Mount Asia, and I was like, alright, I guess I'll go too. We step in the doors, and it's also, it has a Farrell's ice cream parlor in it. My dad used to work at Farrell's when he was a kid, well, teenager, whatever, and I'd heard some of the, you know, some of the crazy stories of, of what happened, and I decided to partake in the lovely Farrell's. I got this thing called the pig's trough, and they literally bring, you know, this this trough of three, no, I wish I was kidding, this big sized scoops of ice cream. Uh, it's a banana split, basically, so you just got the pineapple toppings and the whipped cream and the nuts and the, if you finish it all, you get a ribbon, and I, I you know, we were taking bets, and my stomach hurt so bad, I didn't think I was going to make it, and I love ice cream. I mean, days before... I was in the grocery store with my mother, and they had those big tubs, like, you know, like the cheap $5, five-gallon tubs of ice cream that you do for ice cream socials. And I was like, Mom, if you sat that in front of me, I bet you I could, you know, finish about 75% of it. That's basically what I did at Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor that night. Sure enough, they still give ribbons. Yay! And then afterwards, I wanted to puke. But I didn't, because I'm amazing. Eating that much ice cream is the equivalent of drinking a gallon of milk, I'm sure. So how I managed to do that, I don't know. I'm a hero. Oh, and then, the best part, they stand you up and make fun of you. And I didn't realize that until the very, very end. And I don't know how I stood up there, but I was into it. And there is actually a video of this somewhere. I need to poke um, some of our, our participants from that night to uh, get into the video. Afterwards, I took a big old long nap, and then I decided to um, come join in the last itty bitty bit of fun because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to do laser tag or bumper boats or batting cages or anything. So I just kind of watched everybody still, you know, supporting them in their fun. But heaven knows my stomach hurt for like a good few hours after that. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday, by the way, uh, for just, I love love, and it's, it's a frilly holiday, and my mother is always my Valentine, so I made some Valentine's for Mom and Dad, and that's really it. Nothing to write home about on Valentine's Day, so, oh well. I've been going to the gym lately, though, and I went yesterday night on Valentine's Day, and it's a great time to go, if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm kicking ass. Anyway, I am lovely. You are lovely. Together, all is full of love. I'll see you next week.